G'day, Glav here and welcome back. I wanted to show something new so I decided to go down to Surface Paradise at the Gold Coast today. I didn't want to go down the N1 because frankly it's a four lane highway and boring as batshit. Instead we rode out the M5 past Ipswich and took the Peaks Crossing exit. From there we head along the Bow Desert uh, Boona Road which is State Route 90. We threw a left to Bay Desert and then through Bay Desert onto Canungra, straight through Canungra onto the Mwollomba State Route 97, which leads you all the way to Surface Paradise. Had breakfast at uh, the Gold Coast there, right on the beach, and then we headed down to the Spit. I wanted to have a gander at the Spit because I haven't been there for about 10 years. And then from the Spit, we headed home on the M1 and then the Logan Motorway. All up about 270 kilometres today. I left home at about 7.30 this morning. We had breakfast on the beach and then from there headed home again and got home just about midday. Not a bad ride at all. This is the famous Surface Paradise Beach on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. As we approach winter, the place quietens down, but in the warmer months, you just can't move here with the place being flooded with tourists, both from Australia and also internationally. Whilst we got to park straight off today, we were lucky, as normally it's not quite this easy. We're going to stop here. We've got a bit of time on our hands, so we're going to have a bit of breakfast right across the road from the beach. Just beautiful. We're now leaving Surface Paradise and heading towards the Spit. All you have to do is follow the coastline down. In normal traffic it's about a 10 minute ride and you go past beautiful places like the marina which just has hundreds upon hundreds of boats, yachts, anything from a dinghy to a 150 foot boat and then also SeaWorld. You see all this on the way down. The Spit is the entry from the Pacific Ocean to the calm of the Gold Coast Broadwater. It's a very picturesque spot on a nice day, but I've got to tell you, it can sometimes get a bit ugly on a windy or a wet day. If you look out to the right back towards the Gold Coast high rise, you can see surfers or new surfers learning to surf on the surf beach there. If you look out to the left, you can see a myriad of boating activities on the calm of the Broadwater itself. There are no actual permanent cafes down here or coffee shops etc but you do see coffee vans and occasional food vendors. This is a really nice stop so if you've never been to the Gold Coast before this is a must do. Well we're now going to head away from the spit and head towards Southport. This is going to take us out to the M1 which is going to take us back to Brisbane. 
Once we hit the M1, you'll see there's not a lot to see. It's just a four lane concrete highway and that's about it. It's expedient, but not much else. If we had had more time, we would have backtracked from where we came as this is a far more scenic ride, but we were short of time today, so there you go. Well that's it from Glabswell today, hope you enjoyed this video, please remember life is short therefore live life today.